perturbations are rifts existing between various dimensions. I've been able to develop a power source that will channel enough energy into one of these dimensional rifts that it can be widened enough to travel through. The glove controls the power source, which allows you to travel to whichever dimension has rifts in the area. You won't have control over the ability to switch dimensions yet. Just be patient. This door is using one of my inventions, the repetitive, periodic, articulating gruy day. Or a drinking bird. Except it's far more advanced. Uh, well, because your glove is an early prototype, it has a few limitations in terms of dimension accessibility and the distance it can be from a receptacle in order to function. This is such an early experiment with dimensional shifting, so I decided to have it triggered remotely with a drinking bird. Instead of operating a door, the bird will trigger a dimensional shift. There's an IDS battery in the machine that will power the dimensions, which in this case is fluffy dimension. In addition to Fluffy being embarrassingly adorable, it's also rather useful because everything is ten times lighter than normal. Though that looks like a regular scale, it is in fact a portable kinetic mass to electricity converter. There's that lovely bird again. Sometimes I call him Desmond. Something to note. Since you're holding a version of the IDS device, you, in fact, are not the you in an alternate dimension. Let me try that again. You remain constant, so no matter the dimension, your mass, shape, speed, and trying personality remain the same. You should throw that IDS battery into the receptacle mounted on the wall. That receptacle will distribute the power source around the room, allowing you to now use your IDS device to switch dimensions at your leisure. As I mentioned, dimensional rifts in the manor are magnified by the stabilizing energy from the IDS receptacle and batteries. This is what enables you to slip between dimensions when you're wearing the IDS glove. Ah, that's Dolly. 
Dynamic Object Linear Ligation Interface. To you, a cloning device. I like my house just so. So I decided to add functionality to her to keep everything consistent. Oh, I'll need to tune that later. These are my own particular hybrid beams of carbon dioxide and neodymium dote yttrium aluminum garnet lasers using an alternating ray configuration. Gives them an extra kick. Unfortunately, the breaking of this glass is a necessary evil. Don't take that as permission to do it elsewhere. Just letting you know that you reset the glass. Thank you. 